G'day, this is Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and uh, in this video we're going to look at some uh, third-party components, or actually um, component suite, but we're going to look at one, one component. So this is the DevExpress components. Uh, their website is here, devexpress.com, and uh, we are looking at the uh, Delphi, or the VCL components. Now, if we expand Express Editors, uh, what we're going to look at today is the CX Text Edit. So just check that up there. Now, most of the properties are very similar to the um, T Edit standard T Edit in Delphi. Um, so, what I can do is I'm just going to call this uh, call it the EDT state. And uh, text and get rid of the text. Okay. So all of that so far you can do with the uh, standard Delphi T edit. If we come down a bit, most of the um, interesting properties for um, our, our, uh, our text edit is in this properties property. Um, so if we scroll through, we can see that there's a whole bunch of things in here. Now, there's a few reasons why this is done. Uh, one is obviously um, the properties can be inherited between different controls uh, and thus uh, reducing duplicate code, which is always a good thing. Um, but uh, there's another reason which we'll look at shortly, uh, which enables you to uh, centralize a lot of the a lot of these properties in one place for similar things. So um, many of these are pretty much the same as their uh, sort of T edit uh, equivalent. Um, edit clear clear key is obviously you know a different one. So if we go Control Alt C for instance, uh, and we run this, it's no, we won't enable skin support. That's something we'll look at later. That's part of DevExpress as well. Um, I can type test and I did control alt C, didn't I? Yes. And we can clear that with that. So that's kind of a trivial um, the echo mode, so you could normal and password to hide things. It's, it's pretty much the same. Now, something that is different is lookup items. So if we uh, come to here, I've got all the US states listed and I can throw that in there and I'll say sorted as well um, and I think that's from memory I think that's all we need to do and we now have the uh, this autocomplete uh, very simply done with uh, just by uh, assigning a list. So uh, that, that's pretty simple. Okay, and let's for instance, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Let's say we've got two uh, two edit boxes for states. We'll, we'll pretend they're on different forms or something like that. Um, and we want these properties uh, for these to be the same. Now normally if say we wanted to capitalize the state, I come up here and set char case to uppercase and we run it and um, and it's automatically capitalized but in this one it's not uh, so we'd have to basically duplicate um, our our settings between the two now there's this other property uh, repository item. So what, what I might do is I'll just create a new data module. Uh, and in here, uh, throw in a CX edit repository. Now, on here, 
we want to add a text edit because these are the various different types of controls. And oops, on that one we've got our properties. And if I come down, let's um, go to back to our lookup look up items. And that's still not, not on the clipboard, so let's copy that. And I'll just oops, have them sorted. Uh, and I think that incremental search is what enables the lookup or not. And let's set the um, char case to normal. Ah, sorry, uppercase. Now, what we can do, if I go File, Use Unit, Unit 6, and come down to our repository item, I can set that there, and that one there. And now when I run it, So we've got our, our capitalization in both of them. So basically um, what happens is, rather than using the properties here, uh, it's using the properties within the repository item. So this enables you to centralize a lot of things, uh, including things like validation. So if we look at the events on our edit, in fact, we could rename this, um, Uh, state edit. Uh, just double check that's renamed it automatically. It should have. Yep. And so, if we look at the events, we see there is you know standard on change and on validate. And I could say. Um, uh, okay, so we're not allowed, not allowed strings of length three, uh, or error text. If, in fact, I might not even, even need that actually, um, but I'll, oops, but I'll put it in anyway. So that's a very, uh, very basic uh, validation, and oops, run that T caption. I wonder where T caption is. Is it in forms or something like that? VCL controls. So, so on validate. Um, what have we done wrong there? Display value. <laughs> that was what I intended. Length display value is three. So now we've got it throws an exception if our length is three. Now we might not want an exception. Um, there's a bunch of things that control the what happens. Uh, so validation options. We've currently got raise exception. Um, but what I can do is uh, show error icon and allow lose focus. And now it displays a little error um, saying that it's not, not valid, so we can correct that. And now that's good. Um, to 
this this is something that's actually really tricky to do in the uh, in the VCL. You can do it to a certain extent with actions and a few other things, um, but um, yeah, there's, these events generally aren't uh, available uh, in in actions. Um, so it does enable you to centralize uh, your validation and style um, of the edit in a centralized place for your entire application or suite of applications, which we could do in this case, we could share this data module with more than one application. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. So I'll be making a few more videos on DevExpress controls um, as I sort of learn how to use them. I'm only just getting started presently. I've been using a CX grid for a while because it's, it's quite awesome. Um, and I should, a little disclaimer, uh, they've actually given me a free license. Uh, so uh, that'll just enable me to um, to play around with it uh, over over a number of months. So um, uh, I'll be showing you some more videos on DevExpress in the near future. Uh, I hope you'll find them useful. Thanks. I'm Alistair Christie.